Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Uh, the best thing I like about my job is you never know what kind of call you're going to get. Some of them obviously are the same, just different backgrounds and storylines. We have a great agency. I absolutely love it. Everybody on my shift is very proactive. I work the midnight shift, which we come in at 10.30 for our briefing and go home at 7 in the morning. And on nights, it kind of eliminates the good guys and weeds out all the good guys, so it makes our job a little bit easier. All right, we're going to go ahead and come in here to this local flea market. We've had a lot of burglaries here the last couple of weeks, I'm coming in, breaking into the vending machines and a couple of the businesses. All right, yep, see? Right down here, we got two of them, two white males right down here trying to get into this vending machine. Let's go get them. We'll be out with two white males running from the flea market, running towards Indian Street, now running towards Outback. We can't get to them from here. We have to go all the way around. They're running through the Saturn dealership now. One's wearing a black sweatshirt, both white males. Let's go. He's in front of Wendy's. He's on the west side of US-1, run through the Wendy's parking lot in Walgreens. The other one last saw on the Saturn dealership. Capital 415, advisor clearance on your lock. 2367. We got one here running through the Walgreens. We got him on the ground. He's in the corner. Have a white man in shorts, white t-shirt, 215. Put your hands behind your back. 23 to 7. Where'd, you Where'd your other guy go? I have no idea, sir. What's that? I have no idea, sir. 524, Shadow Road. So we got the one that came over here to the uh, south. So the other one's up in that area. Is that what you're Are you wearing a gray sweatshirt or is that your buddy or a black sweatshirt? That's what Donovan just said. Gray sweatshirt, uh, sir. Uh, yeah, you're wearing the, the gray sweatshirt? Yes, sir. I'm going to go up the front. We can just get a couple units. What was your other on. friend wearing? Uh, hey, everybody says you're going to be going to move over towards the Saturn dealership and set up on. He was wearing what? 497. Huh? He was wearing what? Black t shirt. Black t shirt. And what? What kind of shorts? Shorts. What we'll color? I don't know. What's his name? Leslie. Say again? Leslie. Leslie what? Donovan, what's the other guy wearing? Leslie's his name. The other guy yeah, that's running. Yeah, last time I saw him, he was running at the Saturn. We had to come all the way around the back side, though. Put him in the car? Yeah, take care. I'll be back. One down, one to go. Ten front. Watch him here. This guy. Press up, Rob. I got him. Watch it, watch it, watch it. You got a knife on him. Watch out. Pat him down. Don't pat him down. You got anything that's going to poke me, stick me? I don't think so. Let's go. I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, Sarge, we came in the back way. As soon as we came around this first aisle here, I saw two males in one of the vending machines. As soon as they heard us start coming towards them, they uh, they took off running. So you can do that. Just try to appreciate the burger between Saturn and Alpha. What are you doing over there at the flea market? 
Trying to, trying to get some money? How's that? Vending machines. Always. Vending machines? Yes, sir. Why'd you run when you saw us showing up? I got scared, sir. You got scared? Boys, Is it normal to run from the police when they show up? No, yes, sir. Do you know how all this could have been avoided? Just stopped and surrendered, sir. No, you're wrong. Now I'm come out here and try to break into stuff in the first place. Then the second thing that could have been avoided is that bite mark on your leg from our canine. That could have been avoided from you stop running. Yes, sir. Do you know why you got dog bit? Because I didn't stop and told me to, sir. We gave you several orders to stop running and get down on the ground. Yes, did you did. listen? No, sir. Exactly. Was it? Yes, sir. Stand up. Stand up. Echo 4 or 5. It doesn't pay, does it? No, yes, sir. Gave you the chance, man. You from Martin County? Yes, sir. You ought to know better then. Four hundred years of DNA. There's going to be two to three vending machines in that area that have been burglarized and left as they are. Turn around, face me. With, uh, no sodas Set your seat down. Watch your head. Five. So you do understand how all this could have been avoided, right? By not doing it in the first place. Sir. By not doing it in the first place, right? So what's the lesson you learned tonight? Rotation or we'll take anything that doesn't belong to me and it'll be all lost. So. Good job. One ran across the Walgreens. We were able to apprehend them over there. And Deputy Shaw was able to apprehend the other one. That's where you got him with the dog? Yeah, left butter in the back. You gonna be dumb? It's gotta be tough. So they're all good. You got them captured. Jaws and paws. Jaws and paws. Yes, sir. Prior to becoming a police officer, I actually boxed professionally for a short time. Uh, I was no Oscar De La Hoya, but I was actually uh, pretty good for a while. And then I just decided to stop uh, and then uh, moved out to Las Vegas and been a police officer since 1992. This department has uh, afforded me great opportunities. And now I'm a supervisor on Graveyard on the Strip. Uh, what better place to be than Las Vegas, Nevada? Officer Rosendahl is about to uh, initiate a traffic stop, and uh, we're going to go over there and assist him and uh, see, what, see what we can get out of it. What you stopping for? I heard his music, sorry. What did you reveal? The Interstate Identification Index, yes. otherwise known as the Triple I, says that he, he was convicted in 1995 in Marino Valley, California for armed robbery. Uh, that's He's a got long priors time. for burglary, robbery, oh, okay. uh, domestic violence. Mm -hmm. no, he has a little bit of a history. Yes. Well, let's ask him if he'll let us go in his car. He's an unsavory character. All right, let's go see. Hi, right, sir. He's over there. No weapons or anything? Um, your hands where you can see, all right? Right over there, sir. Wow, you're a big guy. <laughs> what else were you, you lied to me about your arrest history. No. I said, what were you arrested for? Oh, I've only been arrested for domestic violence. Domestic violence. Right, how about your armed robbery that you served two years in prison for? Burglary, robbery. Bur burglary, no. Yeah, back, no, in, back no. in the day. You didn't say you were convicted. How quickly we find, we, start, we find stuff out quickly. Well, yeah, I mean, why, weren't you, why weren't you very was forthcoming with me? Ago. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. When I got pulled over out here, before that, I mean, what was you recently arrested for? All right. I didn't, I didn't play I was, recently. I was a little sugar, man. I'm not, uh, I'm not used to being uh, uh, pulled over and all that, man. Right. That does man. nothing to do with me asking you what you've been arrested for. Yeah. Right? All right. Mind if we look in your car real quick, make sure there's no guns? I mean, man. Make sure there's no guns. Listen, right? if, you got, if you, got little, you got a little weed, we don't we care don't about care that. If you got a little weed, there's a little, little weed, ain't no I big really deal. Don't care. You don't go to jail for weed. Yeah, trust me. You got weed in the car, right? Oh. Yeah, he does. You got something in the car. I don't, man. What do you do for a job? What I, I got Holy a job, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know the way oh, strip club? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I just came back from the movie. Look at my right back pocket right here. You gonna feel movie? You gonna feel the movie stuff? Got about three thousand here, sir. No, that, no, that's less than that. Well, I mean, twenty three hundred and some other stuff. Does he have stuff on? We're just gonna check you, sir. Right? I'm fine, man. I'm fine. I'm fine. Look, I'm fine. All right. Ray, hold this horn for a minute. I'm not. I'm listening. All right. All right. I'm gonna hold this, sir. Okay, you're a big guy. Stay still. Let's <laughs> bring this over, sir. Okay. Yeah, you're doing a good job there. Hey, we got it, we got it. I'll talk to you for a second. Uh, Stay right there. 
Stay right there, so don't move, right? Just lean up on the front of the car. You feel something like in his pants right there. Like in his thigh. Go pat him down on his left side. On uh, his left leg and tell me if you feel something. Uh, watch out for his mud here. Well, I was patting the subject down and uh, I, I felt something. I, I'm not sure what it is. Either narcotic. Hey, keep your hands out of your pocket. Maybe something he dumped in his pockets or it could be... Uh, not really sure, but it just seemed a little odd to me. He got a little sketchy when I grabbed it. Yeah, I can tell. You're acting... Listen to me. You're going to be straight with us right now. <laughs> That's cocaine. Okay. Yeah, that's cocaine. It's it caught, is cocaine. It's cocaine. There's something in your pants. I'm just going to take it out, though. Yeah, where's it at? Is it in the... Uh... It's in there. I might have dropped out. He, he, he has cocaine. Yeah. Right, come on, come on. No, you, do, you have cocaine on you, sir. Oh. I mean, I know what it is. I mean, but now it just disappeared on me. Maybe. It just, it's probably in his pants. It disappeared. It's in there, though. I felt it. It's cocaine, right? Don't worry. There it is. Okay. Oh, it's good. Well, sir. You've got, look at that. I was patting down the subject in his left leg. I felt a, uh, felt the bulge in his upper right thigh. And uh, as we shook his pants, I was pretty sure it was narcotics. And uh, we have a lot of problems with narcotics. Hey, let me know, hey, listen. So do you have anything else in the car? No, let let me know, do you have a gun or anything? Know, let me know, because we're going to tear the car. I mean, we're going to tear it up now anyway, but is it somewhere I need to know? Let me know. He's got probably over 25 grams of crack cocaine, marijuana, about 20 ecstasy pills. So this is going to be mandatory prison. Well, this person has a substantial amount of narcotics and uh, U.S. currency on him, which is indicative that he's selling narcotics. So I'm going to look through his car. I also think he may be in possession of some type of weapon, possibly a firearm. They go together all the time. Yeah, on the other side. All right, there it is. You can see it's a, uh, it's a Glock 9mm firearm. I'm gonna have a good, a good long talk with this suspect. Last time I tell you you got a gun, you tell me. Let's just put him in. Let's just put him listen in. Listen to me. You're an ex-felon for. Listen to me. I'm talking to you. I'm getting no match on you. You're an ex-felon for armed robbery. Okay, now you're gonna go to jail also. Ex-felon for armed robbery. Okay, you're an ex-felon for armed robbery. Okay, now you're gonna go to jail also. Ex-felon possession of a firearm. You will definitely go to prison, and you deserve to go to prison. For what? You're rolling around here selling dope. I'm not selling dope. Listen to me. All this money is from selling narcotics. No, you got a fighter arm. You got a firearm loaded in chamber, right here, from selling dope. What are you doing carrying a gun for? I mean, really, what are you doing carrying a gun? You're so not supposed locked, to be carrying uh, a gun. I locked 26, 9 millimeter, I actually own one of these. And it was loaded with uh, hollow point rounds. So this traffic stop could have gone much worse. It could have turned into a shootout. But this is a hardcore ex felon that uh, needs to go to uh, needs to go to jail. He will be going to prison. Right, hey, do me a favor, Ev, give me a bag. Put him in, put him in. Yeah. Put him. And then get me. All right. Sarge, he's going to go to jail for the, uh, the trafficking cocaine, the possession of controlled substance for sale for the marijuana, possession of controlled substance for the ecstasy. He's got about 20 pills. His money's going to be seized and put into our general fund, and he's going to go to jail for the ex-felon possession of a firearm. And I'm glad you're off the street. You need to be off the street. Man, come on with Listen that, to man. me. Listen I got to family me. to take you're care family. of. Family. Man, you're family. You're rolling fine. And you're an ex-felon. You got tons man, of dope listen, on like you, Like I just said, I got shot up before, Okay, man. fine. I and you're an ex-felon. All right, you'll go to jail. Did you see the gun? The gun was not on me. Fingerprinted. Ex felon possession of firearm. Gun, Read the Nevada Revised Statute. The firearm is in your possession as long as it doesn't have to be on you. You can't dispute the law with me. You don't know it. That's fine. It's in your possession. Bro, you'll have your day in court. But for now, you're not going to beat the ride. Adios. I started here at Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office about three years ago. I was a cop in uh, Jersey before that. I pretty much got into law enforcement because I, I do like working with people. I like helping people, I like being involved in people's lives and stuff. Well, what other job you can get where you encounter all different types of people in, uh, in, in, in every walks of life? I mean, so I really enjoy doing this. We're going to stop this car here for failing to stop at the stop sign back there. The car's going back to a tan colored Mercury. It's really on a gray color, so we're going to stop and see what we got. You got your license registration and insurance on you? Yeah. How you doing? Okay. Got ID on you? No. No? No, sir. You're driving in a vehicle without a seatbelt on in the front seat. That's a good state statute. I wasn't aware. You weren't aware? I How old are you? I just got in the car. Okay. You still not got to put your seatbelt on. You ever been arrested before for anything? Never, man. Okay. Never before? Mm-hmm. And this is your vehicle? Yeah. Okay. First name? There's nothing illegal in it or nothing like that? Yeah. We're having a lot of problems with drugs in the area. 
There's nothing illegal in your car? Mm -hmm. So after I do a check, you won't mind if I check your vehicle or anything like that? Uh, I gotta be getting somewhere. My mom got time for all this. Okay, just hang out for a minute. Right. Let me just make sure everything pans out. He doesn't want us in the car. Did he just throw the keys out the window or something? I don't know. Here. Didn't you say he was arrested? Yeah. For uh, what? Three months ago for drugs. He's saying he'd never been arrested before. Yeah, I got it right here. He was arrested in 72107 drugs. Okay. Well, I smell an odor of marijuana coming from the car, so. Okay, that's fine. We're going to pull him out. We're going to check him. The, dry, the front seat passenger seems very nervous. Yeah, they both are. He's, He's not happy he got pulled over on a dead end street either. So. He was stuttering a lot telling me his name. I mean, I know my name and I can say it without stuttering. All right, we'll pull him out. We'll pat him down and then uh, we'll search the vehicle. Can you just hang that up while we finish our investigation? Do you have anything I need to know about? Right. Thanks, man. I'm getting pulled over. Like you said, just to bust my butt. I'm pulled over. Hey, partner, can you hang up the phone for me? That's officer safety. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You have anything on you, no weapons or nothing like that? Nothing, man. Okay. Sounds good. You said you weren't arrested before. I was never you arrested. checked your record. It says you were arrested about three months ago. No. For uh, drugs. No, 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 no. Is that a mistake? They pulled me over. Uh -huh. They found something. There was whatever. They let me go for the night. I went to my class, and I got my, I went to court. They gave me my class, and scheduled my classes the 20th. So October. you got arrested because they gave you a notice to appear in court. Well, I didn't that know means that you got I was arrested. arrested. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, it's a notice to appear. Did you go to court? Yeah, I went to court. Did you have to answer to the charges that were on that piece of paper? Yeah, that was That's being arrested. That's being arrested. So you went to your own a drug farm or something? Huh? No, I gotta go to the class. What class is that? It's on a Belvedere. No, what, what kind of class is it? Marijuana. What, did they tell you any specifics about it? Nothing. You haven't gone yet? Mm -hmm. Can you just lean up over there? Sure. Next to your friend? You okay. smell an odor of, uh, it's real faint, of marijuana coming from inside the car. So I guess it's probably cause a surge and he has a past of uh, drug arrest, so we're just gonna do a quick search. Nothing comes up, he'll be on his way, but you know when I asked him for consent, even though I didn't need it, he uh, he was really nervous about letting us in the car. So we're just gonna double check, make sure everything's alright. Who's this? So secure the passenger for a minute. There we go. There's a marijuana right here, another pipe that matches the same pipe that's out in the that was on the ground. It's underneath the seat inside this little orange packet right here. It's definitely gonna be felony weight. So that stuff that we found isn't yours on the ground. And you won't allow us to do DNA or anything. So we can Not prove without that me nice. contacting my dad, no. How old are you? 28. You know, once you turn 18, your parents aren't in charge of you anymore. You're 28 years old. He's not in charge of me, but he's my counselor and he advises me on stuff, so I'd have to contact him first. How many times have you been arrested for uh, drug possession? Three. Three when was the last one? All three. Months and months ago. Months and months ago? Yeah. Okay, remember, did my partner tell you that I smell marijuana coming from the car? Okay, you're telling me there's no drugs in the car right now? Not that I know of, no. Not that you know of? No. Okay. I drink. You drink? Mm hmm Okay. Basically every day. You drink basically every day? Yeah, a few beers every day. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to show you what I found in the car. Okay. And then you tell me if you have any idea what it's about. Okay. Okay. Underneath your seat. Oh, my God. Which is funny because that pipe right there, that, that this little uh, marijuana pipe is mm -hmm. the same exact marijuana pipe that was outside on the floor. They're like matching. That's not mine. It's under your seat. It's every, I, it belongs it's to everybody in the mine. car. It belongs to everybody in the car is what I'm telling you. Okay. Like I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm not, I'm not trying to argue with you. There. You know, I'm not looking I'm for an admission I'll, here. I don't I'm just trying to say. Trouble. I'll take the blame for it all. Okay. But two seconds ago, you just told me you didn't know anything about it. I, well, I'm, I'm taking the blame now. It's not taking the blame. If you don't know about it, you don't know about it. You both go to jail and you figure it out in front of a judge. You're saying you never saw that bag before. You don't know the, the weed was there. You haven't smoked in four or three months. I'll take the blame for it. That doesn't, that's not admission. That's you just saying, I'm copping out, I'll take it. If you know it, you know it. It's mine, I'll say it's mine. Okay, where'd you buy it from? I got it free. You got it for free? My brother gave it to me. Your brother sells? No. So why is it rolled up like that? I don't know. What are those, 40? Huh? 40 bucks for that? For what? For the rolled up? 
I the way you guys have it packaged? I have no idea. No? So who dropped the black sock outside it the car? That's right, you dropped that too? You know, as we were pulling you over, you drew it out the door or something? No, it fell out when I walked out. Your buddy admitted it was his. You gotta start picking better company, especially if you're trying to do the right thing. It makes absolutely no sense for you to get yourself in this kind of trouble. All right, just try to do better. All right, man. All right, man. All right, so we know that Rhiannon's going for a felony possession of marijuana and uh, two possession, two counts of uh, paraphernalia for the one that he dropped out of his pocket on the ground outside of the car and then for the one that was inside the car. I mean, he, he admitted to everything post-Miranda, so uh, you know, it doesn't make it much of a, a tough case to prove. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. 11 affirming. I'm going to head up to this burglary call, one of the smaller uh, Mexican restaurants up in the uh, northeast uh, portion of town. Uh, there might be somebody stuck in the building there. and uh, I guess there's a, a window that was smashed out uh, to the front. Copy. Can you see if we can ascertain a license plate on that vehicle? Copy. The suspects are all COA. Woman COA in a black BMW, one in a gray BMW truck. The suspect is a gray BMW with possibly armed with a small silver handgun. X-ray 16 confirmed on a window smash. Is there a canine working tonight? Was it smash the front? Yeah, look at the cash register though. Okay. Drawers gone, who knows? There's just a real small window. Yeah, Caesar and the dog are coming up right now. Hey Caesar, how are you? This uh, this was smashed out right here, and when we go around back, there's uh, looks like they tried to get out the back, but there's two really good security screen doors back there where they can't get out, and uh, you can see the cash register in the back through the, uh, sec the uh -huh. screen doors, and it looks like it's all broken up. Well, you can't you can't get oh, yeah customers there too. Um, you can't get out the back, right? Mm -hmm. There's only way in. Um, Can you squeeze your dog through there? Well, I'll send him in there and see what happens. <laughs> oh, please, come on, set police dog. Oh, please, come on, set police dog. Good boy. Find him. Hey. There is somebody yeah. in there, huh? Good boy, fast! Fast, fast, fast! Fast! He's got him. He's got him. He's in there? Yeah. yeah. Hand this to Caesar. Hand this to Caesar. That's mine, Caesar. Hey, somebody's got to come in here. Oh, oh, Let me see your hands. Hey, let me see your hands. Keep your hands in front of you. Yeah, it's like a double cylinder lock where you need a key on uh, both sides, so. We're just gonna have to figure out how to get him out of here. This was sitting just inside the broken window up there. 
But it looks like he uh, brought the cash register back here and got the drawer out of it. And it looks like it's all broken now. What are you guys talking about in there? He's, he's saying that his buddy works here and he was in here drinking with him. I was like, well, that doesn't make no sense. Oh. And then he would oh. just scream and hold his hand. But you, did you hear that, Joe? I guess he tried to make it out the back door when the dog was back there. Oh, and I really? guess when the dog... Him, straight down. Since uh, he tried to get out the back door, the dog got him and brought him down. Oh, well, now his buddy was going to go get some more beer, so he locks him in there. It's about 3 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock that he started drinking. I think they're open at that time. Yeah, they probably are. So <laughs> He's trying to come up with some of the stories that his stores are conflicting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, by the way, it was his buddy's day off. They got here at 7. Oh. So now it's 7. <laughs> hey, Joe. The register's all here. He was definitely somewhere where we couldn't see him looking through the windows. It's a little bit of money here. This is this is where the guy got bit. Yeah, right here. Right here, huh? Joe. Here's his hat right there. So. Joe just made a phone call to one of the employees here. To the guy that he's saying that works here doesn't work here. Oh, he doesn't. There's no Enrique. Uh, oh, females that work, here. that work here. Oh wow. Probably just passed out. Probably just gave up. Yeah. Try to run so I didn't back. hear the announcement. Well, he's probably just saying, you know what? I'm just gonna sober up a little and then I'll okay. crawl my way back out that front window. When you got in here with Caesar, this is where the guy was laying down? Yeah, right there, see the little... Yeah, those, that's like uh, <laughs> blood from his leg. Right. This is where he got bit. This is part of his money, too. Yeah, and his head was up here. His head was right here. He had his arm oh. wrapped around this. And the dog was trying to pull on him? Yes. So, as soon as Caesar secured his dog, I was able to put him in handcuffs. Very good. So off to the hospital for him? Yep. Have his leg checked out? It's up to county. That's how it's done for the Okay? What were you saying? I told him uh, he's being arrested for burglary. Yeah. And uh, as soon as they uh, you know, wrap him up and all that, we're going to go to the hospital and have a doctor for him. Good deal. I can't think of anything else in the world that I want to be doing. This is, uh, this is a job I love, my heart's in it. I got family members that are cops, and it's a great job. I'm a patrol guy. I like to patrol the zone. I uh, look for suspicious incidents. Uh, I do some traffic. Um, criminals got to get from point A to point B. Uh, they're usually driving cars. I'm going to stop this car over here. It's got a brake light out. Get with the driver, see if he knows what's up. 206 or so, 10 fifth. Indigo 2-3, yeah, and Baker, coming up on SO5. Thank you, Eric. How's it going? Yes, All right, you got a license? Yes, sir. You don't have a license? Yes, sir. Step out of the car for me. Why don't you have a license? Uh, just because I, I don't. Turn around, put your hands on top of the car. Yes, sir. You have anything I should know about? No, sir. Nothing? No, sir. Okay, for right now, I'm just going to put you in handcuffs for my safety and yours, all right? Yes, sir. Just relax. Anything in the car I need to know about? Any drugs? No, uh, I got some prescription drugs. You got some prescription drugs? Yes, sir. Are, Where are they at? They're in a bottle. They're prescribed to me. They're in my glove box. What kind of drugs? What they're, kind? They're Roxy's. Roxy's. Oh, but I'm sure I have a prescription there. They're legal. Okay. They're, uh, you ever been arrested before? Yes, sir. For what? For uh, possession of Xanax, sir. For possession of Xanax. Do you need an ambulance? No, I'm so, I mean, I was just going to get checked out. So just having leg pain. Seeing your legs hurt real bad. And that's, How uh, many months pregnant are you? Eight. Eight months pregnant? All right, just sit tight for me. Just get, you know, we'll sit right here in front of my car, okay? okay that's cool. Sit right there in the bumper. All right, you're under arrest. Don't go anywhere, you understand? Uh, yes, I'm not going anywhere, sir. Okay. I'm not trying to run or nothing out, but we, I just had to get her to the hospital.
You want to step out for me? You sure you don't need an ambulance or anything? No. You have any labor pains or? No, it's just pains here. It's not like labor pains. I just want to get it checked out. Okay, is there somebody you can call that can take you to the hospital? There's somebody you can call right now because she's going to be tied up here for a few minutes. You ever been arrested? Um, a while ago. Four. Um, possession of paraphernalia. There's no, no, no other drugs in the car. I'm not going to find any marijuana, any pipes, any stems, any nothing. You're kidding me, right? And a bottle like that, it's got no name on it, no nothing. How do I know this is yours? I got, is my arrest papers in there? Because they had it on it the other day, it just wore off. Just worn off. Just worn off? I just got arrested three days ago, sir. For what? I, Possession? For not for the, no, the, I had those with me and they seen that it, it was on there, the label was on there. What did well, you get arrested for three days ago? For, for possession. Possession is on it. Okay, so. But no, I had those and the, the label was good on it then. I know the papers are there, though. I know I had them. I had them there. Come on, so like I had the I have the papers that say that I'm prescribed it. What are these? I got I got them at the same time, sir. My the other bottle I just carry it in my pocket. And, and what about this? Two or six. Okay, get another unit, please. What else am I gonna find? That's it, right there. That's it. That's okay. It. He told me just the drugs. Now I find a needle. That's for my my other one. My doc, I can't eat them. Uh, my doctor told me I can take them. I wanted to take them. Oh really? So you can crush them up, burn them, and inject them? I don't. I don't. That not, I don't. I snort them. I don't even. I don't inject them or nothing. That's so. That's, what's what's that's the needle? Not mine. I don't. Even, where'd you just find that at? Right next to the pill bottles. That's right. I know exactly who that is, sir. It's, it's <laughs> That's not mine. I know who that is. Uh, Whose is it? Your wife's? No, it's not hers. It's, it's this guy Paul that I, I had in my car last night, sir. Do you want an ambulance? Okay. Basically, he's been arrested before for possession of uh, controlled substance. And uh, upon further looking in the car, I found the needle. Hypodermic needle, it's used for injecting drugs. His girlfriend, or whatever she is, she's pregnant. So, let's see what else I'm going to turn up in here. I'm sure I'll find something like this. It's another piece of paraphernalia for smoking marijuana. Come back here, you're going to sit in this car for me back here. Come back here with me also. I'm going to have this female deputy check you, make sure you don't have anything hiding on you, okay? He's good. Just All check right. her. All right. He said you can have the car. So when the people get here, whoever. Uh, Do you know what his charges are going to be? Yeah, he's going to go for driving with a suspended license with knowledge and also possession of paraphernalia. And you know how much that's going to be? Uh, it's probably going to be about a thousand. I don't know what the bond amount's going to be yet. Okay? And then whatever's in that needle, I'm going to send that off to the lab to get testing. Oh, there's something in it? Yeah. You know, being around the marijuana and the kids isn't a good thing. You know that, right? Someone needs to make a smart choice here. I'm not going to sit here and try to preach totally to you, but, you know, I mean, I... Situations are different, but if you know the kid doesn't have a choice, you have the choice. I mean, this all could have been avoided if you were driving with a license. You know, you need to straighten your life up. All right, drugs is not the answer. I appreciate your cooperation and your honesty. All right. All right, guys, this is what we're doing here. We're going to execute a low-risk search warrant over at this uh, crack house where they've been selling to us. Afterwards, if while we're there, some uh, potential buyers show up, we'll have two undercover agents in place to sell to them. Uh, they're going to give the takedown signal when a purchase is made. We'll move in for the takedown. The main emphasis, again, is being safe, using cover and concealment, contact, and a uh, cover person will we'll designate.
at that point when we're there. All right, let's get this done and let's uh, I'll be safe. Being in the narcotics unit, we want to uh, not only just target the high-end distributors, but also tackle the low-end dealers like we're going to do today. It's a quality of life issue. Every neighborhood wants their neighborhood to be safe and be clean. All right, we're approaching the target house right now. All right, Doug, I'm with you. Let's go ahead and move in. Doors open. Doors open. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Everybody. Hey, get down in the ground. Now. Right. Down in the ground. Come on. Everybody out. Holster your gun. Don't even move. Let me see your hands. Claire, just hold on. All right. What did you get so far? Anything? So far, nothing. It, it, it would appear that they have to re-up. I think what one of them even said. They're out? They're fresh out of Coke? Yep. Okay. The only thing that we came across was paraphernalia. This pipe, we can only find one pipe. Copper, wire mesh, spoon. Paraphernalia, so chances are they needed to re-up before it. they started selling. That's it. When we came here, luckily they were out of material. Correct. They are actively selling them. Let's go see what else we can do here. Lady in the Green is the one that uh, has been selling to us for some time. She actually looks familiar. I think she's been other places selling. What do you think about this lady selling crack out of your house here? I, Make I, you mad? Yes, An it invasion? Does. Police had to invade your home? Yes. Well, what do you have to say to her exactly? Find a new place to stay. That's what happens when you try to help people out. They were living in the woods. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're out. All right, thanks. They're bringing up some more. That was a supplier? Yeah. That was it. She said she's bringing them off. And they're coming through? Yeah. All right, so let's get set up and we'll go ahead and do it. All right. All right, what we're doing right now is while doing the search warrant, uh, we received a call from the actual dealer that provides for this house. Oh, no, here's a white one. Yeah. White car pulling in the driveway. The white car is pulling in right now. Cover the driver from the middle of the car. Me and Ramsey are going to approach the driver and take her out. Now. Go, go, go. Sheriff's office, let me see your hand! Let me see your hand! Let me see your hands! Put your hands up! Out of the car. Out Get out of the car, dear. Get out of the car. Oh, the car. He's got a kid in the back. Put your hands on top of the car. Now. Put your hands on top of the car. Come over here. I haven't done nothing. I have not done nothing. Just anything. do not resist. I'm not. Come on, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Search her. It's commonly referred to as a cookie of crack. She had it on the floorboard, obviously stepped on it or something. It's all broken up there. There's some more on the floor here and the ground outside. She came out with her. Here's the bag that it was in. I don't know what else we'll find after we search it completely. Let's go talk to her over here. What were you doing here? I came to see someone. And what? And that's that. And that's that. You came to sell drugs, right? I came to see someone. What did your friend, this is very important, what did your friend know about what was going on here? Absolutely nothing. You're sure? I put it on everything. So it's all your fault? Your friend didn't have anything to do with this? No, sir. How irresponsible of a person would you say that you are, that you brought a four-year-old to a drug deal here in Lake Worth? Very. What are you doing here? She's been my friend for the longest. She picked me up. She was supposed to go take me to go get my nails done. I had the certificate in the car. I had the money to go, you know, to to pay for the tip and I go to school. Okay. I don't deal with that. I've never sold drugs in my life. None of that. Okay, I'm 21 years old. Have you ever been arrested before? Yes, I have. What for? Well, one, like, I, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I was um, addicted on drugs when I was like two years ago. I had powder or whatever. I think this conversation is pretty much over. If you're not gonna be cooperative and tell us what we wanna hear, then this is nothing more to say. What are you gonna say. do with my kid? This Come on. is not fair. Come on. Hey, Sarge, what'd you find in the car? All right, this is what we found inside the car here. You get a good amount of crack, marijuana. Looks like a half of a Percocet. Two-year-old child. She claimed that she didn't know anything, but she ended up being in possession. There's no way that she didn't know all of this was in the car. All right, and we're going to charge her with aggravated child abuse? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and charge her. We're going to open a case from Department of Children and Families, and uh, both of them are going to go to jail for possession. All right, excellent. Good job. Waiting right now for a delivery of another two ounces of cocaine to this household from a uh, supplier.
Okay, they're going to pull in the main driveway right in front of the house. Those are by my truck. They're pulling in. They're parked right now. The passenger is getting out. He's walking around. He's in the front of the house now, walking around towards the side door. Um, you guys might want to get ready. He's almost to the door. He's going to take down now. Take the car. Take the car. Get out! 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 Spread your feet. Spread yeah, your feet speed. apart and listen to the man. I always rip up the tickets. I used to always complain to my mom, so. She always told me that one day I could get back at him and write him a real ticket he couldn't rip up, so. Still haven't got that chance yet, but maybe one day. All right, we're gonna stop this car for uh, running a stop sign. He uh, also cut me off back there on the other road, so we'll pull him over and see what's going on while he did that. Hey, have a seat in the car. Street Team 1 3, 1031 on foot from Coconut towards Kirk Road. I am. I am. Put your hands behind your back. I am. Street Team 1 3, I'm just going to be between Coconut and Davis, just south of Lakewood. Got a black male 1015. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not resisting. My car's unsecure, and I don't know if the vehicle he bailed out of left or not. I believe it's going to be Coconut, just south of Lakewood. The passenger bailed out and ran. Oh, beautiful. Got some crack. Got some pills. Street Team 13, I got felony 57, but I got the person 1015. Stand up. Let's walk back this way. Stand forward. I get back to my vehicle, I'll give you the tag. Passenger bailed out when I stopped him. And then I chased the passenger and caught him, and the vehicle must have left sometime. Stay right there, okay? Yes, sir. Could you pass me the phone, sir? No, I cannot. Who's in the car with you, man? They just gave me a lift from the store, sir. What's it about this? I don't know. Huh? I went on me. I, I saw you throw it. No, you did. Guy. 
You did not I was see. chasing behind you and saw you throw this out of your right hand. No, you did not, sir. Yes, I did. No, you did not. That yes, was I not did. in my possession. That was not in my possession. You can stop calling him. He's going to go to jail, okay? As soon as I pulled him over, he jumped out of the passenger seat and took off. So I chased him. And when I got back, I caught him back there in the backyard. And when I got back, the vehicle was gone. He jumped out with that pack of cigarettes in his hand. And as he went around the corner, he gold, threw it. A gold Ford? No, I did not. It's a Ford Taurus. Yeah. You have anything else on you, partner? Because if you go to jail with anything else on you, no, sir. it's additional charges, okay? No, sir. Hey, listen to me. Can you stand up? Listen to me. Why'd you run from the car? I didn't know who it was. I didn't see no light, sir. So you didn't I, see that? No, sir. Are you kidding me? No, sir. I did not see it. The lights wasn't on at the time. Yes, sir, they were. Okay, I apologize. You turned around and looked at me, standing right by my car, and what'd you do? I ran. Why did you run? Did you hear me yell in sheriff's office? No, sir. What did you hear me yelling at you? Just stop. Did you stop? No, sir. And right before you fell to the ground, you threw this pack of cigarettes out of your hand? No, sir. Sorry, it's this one. No, okay? sir. Yes, sir. This is not a, I'm not asking you, this is what I'm telling you well, happened. I know, what I'm saying right now can be brought up in front of a judge. Okay, that's fine, and that, I'm more than welcome to take this to court, okay? Yes. But here's what you're being charged with. Possession of crack cocaine. Which was not in my possession. You can say it wasn't your possession, that's fine. I'm telling you, I saw you throw it out of your hand. I'm gonna find out what kind of pills these are. You're gonna get charged with those pills, and you're gonna get charged for resisting. For running from me, okay? Yes, sir. All right? Yes. Okay. And you also weren't wearing your seatbelt in the vehicle either. So that's why I have a legal right to detain you. Okay? Yes, sir. And by me, we're gonna detain you to get your information right to the seatbelt. You take off running. Okay? Yes, sir. So that's what you're gonna be under arrest for today. Okay, you can deny this all that you want. My report's gonna read exactly what I told you. I saw you throw this out of your hand. Okay? Yes, sir. All right, let's walk back here. I called up Poison Control on the blue pills. Uh, she said it's oxycodone, 30 milligrams, which is a scheduled narcotic, which you'd have to have a prescription to maintain them. Okay. It's one of our issued test kits. They gave us cocaine in there mixed with the two liquids to turn it blue. As you can see, it's clearly blue that's coming out through it. So he's got, I don't know, 15 or 20, 12 or 15 rocks here. So okay. he'll get that charge and get the oxycodone too. Yeah. All right. So we'll forfeit his money and everything, and uh, he'll take his ride to jail tonight. All right. Sounds good. William. Yes. Listen to me, bro. Listen, I'm going to talk to you just one-on-one, -on -one, okay? You had it in your hand. I saw you throw it. That's irrelevant. Listen, I know people go through some hard times, okay? It's understandable you haven't been arrested in a long time, okay? Is this just something you're getting into recently to make some money? The person that was in the car, Okay. they gave it to me because they didn't want to get caught. So they gave you and the I cigarette was like, pack? You know, instead of them taking the blame because of the situation that they're in with their family at home, you know, that's what I've done just, you know, for them. Okay, you just figured you'd run and get away, right? You wouldn't have to worry about getting caught with it? You know, just to, just because, you know, I didn't want them to get in any more trouble than they were. Is it a good friend of yours? Yes, sir. So you're basically taking the blame for the possession of crack and possession of code on for them? Yes, sir. All right, buddy. It's the life he chooses to live. This is the way he's going to end up. Definitely. So it's a game. We won today. We lost. My grandpa was a uh, detective in a small town outside of uh, London, England. It was pretty interesting. I have my grandpa's badge and uh, pictures of him as a, a famous detective in a small town. And uh, I kind of feel that maybe because of that, it's in my blood and, and uh, pretty proud of that. All right, we're going to stop this car up ahead. Uh, seen it a few times driving around the area tonight that we've been focusing on. Uh, um, we've got a lot of problems up in this area, so we're going to stop him and see what we find. Sam 40 truck. Dallas, north of Foothill. Three Frank John Merritt. What's up? How you doing? Good. How much you had to drink tonight? I actually just drink a beer at a bar. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's your, uh, do you have your driver's license with you? What's going on, buddy? 
Do you have a driver's license? Because this is your ID card. I'm sure it's the same number, no sir. Here it is. And you've had one beer? Yeah, I just drank one. I'm just going home. I just got off of work. Uh-huh. So I'm just like trying to get home. I've seen you driving around a couple times mm -hmm. tonight. You ever been arrested before? Yes. Huh? Yeah. For what? For um not arrested like thrown in jail. I've been arrested thrown in for um driving uh suspiciously. <laughs> You got arrested for that? Yeah, they, they handcuffed me, they threw me in a jail for like an hour, and I just got off. That's about it. All right, give me a minute. I'll be right back with you. Stop this guy for uh, some traffic violations. He's weaving on the road. This guy has a uh, warrant for traffic violations, so I'm going to pull him out of the car and put him in handcuffs while they did uh, check on the status of it. I'm going to search the car. I've seen him about four times and I drive him up and down by fantasy and uh, he says he's uh, coming from work and uh, in and out but he's obviously been drinking and I don't see any uniform in the car so he's up to no good. Okay, sir. Can you step back here please? Come on back here. You don't got no uh, guns, knives, weapons on you? No, sir. Alright, turn around, face that hotel for me, put your hands on your head and link your fingers. Ready your legs. Well, you got a little warrant for your arrest. I have a warrant? Right here. Figure out this warrant and we'll go from there, okay? Nothing in your hat here. Nothing illegal in that car? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Honestly? You sound a little hesitant on that. Anything in there? I don't know why I'm going to jail. I'm kind of like... You might have put him in your care. car. Uh, I'm just searching the car, um, see if I can find anything illegal in it. He was in and around a uh, area known for narcotics uh, activity, so see what I can find. Heavy smell of marijuana coming from this backpack. <laughs> There it is. And quite a few nice looking uh, marijuana buds in there. More than uh, personal use, just based on the way the buds are separated from one another. It'd all be about $5 or $10 bags for each one of those buds. I'm sorry, I thought I told you. It's confirmed, it's already here, 2500 See what else we can find in here? Some uh, some interesting writing in here, indicating uh, ounces. What an ounce equals 28 grams. Uh, and a pound equals 16 ounces. I'm gonna uh, see what this guy has to say about this. Excuse me, sir. Am I, am I going to jail? What, do you understand your rights? Yes, you willing to talk to me? Yes, okay. That marijuana in the back, whose is that? So I have a pretty good idea that that blue bag, where that blue bag came from. Whose is it? I'm sorry for holding it, sir. What are you holding it for? I don't even know. I think he just stuck it in there right when I dropped him off. You know, I, just, I just can't believe it. What's the uh, what's that that uh, little book that I found in there? What's the book? The black book? Yeah. With the that was written There's in all the grams and all that stuff in it. I don't know, just huh? Just little so, book. I'm just writing it, but well, be honest with me. Are you selling this stuff just to make a little bit of extra money? If you are, you are. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm All sorry. right. Sorry. How much does uh, that whole jar of weed cost? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, and you just sell each one of those little buds. Yeah. Five bucks. Like five bucks and ten bucks. Right. I'm sorry, sir. It's just like I didn't know any better. You know, it's 
Because I just got in an accident and need to pay this money. And right, right. I got dropped an ounce and then I got to sell it. So it's like, I ain't know. Oh, sorry, officer. All right. I can't believe I did just... All right, jump back in there, man. We're going to charge him with the warrant uh, that he has outstanding for um, the driver's license issue. And then we'll uh, charge him based on my expertise, uh, the packaging and the, uh, the size and quantity. Um, and his, his own statement and admission um, will charge him on the uh, sales of marijuana and book him into county jail on a felony. I was born in Ozark, Arkansas. Uh, I grew up there most of my life. Joined the United States Marine Corps when I was 17. We got stationed out in 29 Palms, California. I work with the Sheriff's Department, currently assigned to Watch 3, which is our swing shift. It's uh, 3 in the afternoon until 1 o'clock in the morning. I like that shift mainly, uh, it keeps me busy throughout the shift. Advice wanted to leave. Currently has a kitchen knife and is sitting in a gray 2002 F-150 that's parked in the driveway. Along with a pepper ball with the subject uh, having a knife. The, uh, one of my B partners is at the attempt suicide right now. He is at uh, on scene with the subject. The subject has a knife in the car, and we're rolling to uh, 311 reference uh, the pepper ball. Fifteen ninety-seven. Give us minimum. Okay. Rear 15, we're going to be code 4 on Santa Fe. I'm not arresting you, all I'm doing is holding on to it. What's up? Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Now. Put them behind your back. I'm not going to tell you again. Get down to your knees. Get down to your knees. Now. Oh, my God. Chance on your back. No, you know what? Go down your stomach. Go down All the way. Stomach. All the way on your Go stomach. Down to your stomach. Just come up and push him over. Come up and push him over. <clears throat> Go down to your stomach. Go down to your stomach. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Put them back. Put the other one back. Put your hands behind your back. Put the other one back. Now. Put the other hand back. Put the other one back, you're gonna get sprayed. Put the other one back. 15, we're physical right now, just hang on. Give me another cuff. Just don't fight, all right? Okay. Resisting. All right. Quit resisting. <clears throat> Alright, 15, we get the cuts on him, we're code 4. <clears throat> no, oh, you're getting physical with us. Okay, you're physical okay, compliant with anything I'm we tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And now you're getting physical. Well, that's fine. Right. Okay, it's not Where's no hard at? feelings, alright? Where's your knife? Feet. Okay. You wanna go look? Yeah. But I just want attention. Just want attention? Yeah. Well you got it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Uh did he threaten anybody with a knife or just walk out with it or no, what happened? He just walked in and then when I seen it he just got into the truck. Okay. And then that's when I was trying to talk to him and say, you know what, just give me the knife and go inside and go to sleep. Nobody's trying to argue with you. Okay. But he wouldn't listen and he started pounding. So I told my brother, you know what, 
He started pounding? Like pounding on the chair, you know? I don't okay. know what the knife or I don't know what. I can okay. See. He just want to leave in the truck. Yeah, and we don't want him to because either he's going to hurt himself. It's understandable. You know what I mean? It's understandable. No, you guys did a good job calling us and uh, letting us deal with it. So you guys heard uh, heard us giving him commands to to get down on his stomach yes. so he wouldn't yeah, fight around. Everything. Okay, no, so I mean, you saw him You yeah. saw him pull away from my partner yeah, and all that? That's why I told him myself, you know what, you need to listen to him. If Absolutely. Him, good. Okay, well what's going to happen is uh, we'll, we'll get him uh, We'll get him down to the hospital and we'll get him evaluated. Um, is anything going on right now in his life? Uh, any I kind of death do. in the family? No, I no, just, I'm, I'm thinking it's just like a lot of stress, like bills wise with okay. the house maybe. Alright, thank Appreciate you guys. So I'll, I'll come back over and talk to you in a minute. You. <laughs> what's your name, man? Jose. Jose? All right. Is there a reason why you're fighting with us? No, I was just fighting. Can I know? Felt like it was time to go or what? No, no, no. Okay. All right, no problem. My partner explained to you what's going to happen, right? No. Okay, well, what's going to happen is we're going to take you down and get you evaluated, okay, with what's going on, all right? You got a lot of stress on you right now? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that's what we're here for, man. We're here to help you, okay? So next time, don't fight with us. Just just go along with us, okay? I'm fine. That's okay. Don't worry about it. All right? All right. It happens. Right. It happens, okay? okay? We don't take it personal. We're just here to help you out. That's all we're worried about, okay? okay? All right. All right. You're not uh, under arrest. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Use the, the left one a little bit too tight. Okay. Right? We'll, we'll get you as soon as we get you up here, okay? okay. Come on, pull your knee in. There you go. Uh huh. Ready? All right, we'll get you in just a second, okay? Just stand up against the car here and we'll get you. This one right here is too tight. All right. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Am I better? Yeah, thank you. All right. Try to have a seat in there best you can, all right? Watch your head. It would been a bad situation if we'd had to fight that guy. He was a big boy, so uh, we'll get him some help and... Uh, Hopefully he'll be doing better with his life. Oh, you'll fit. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Yeah, 2514, 10 cents, mid on tag 2. Warning, if you watch Late Night Fox Saturday, you may do this. <laughs> Bad TV and Spy, Late Night Saturday on Fox. I'm John Walsh, and at the top of the hour, happy 100 years to the FBI. We watch the G-Men work at their state-of-the-art training academy. Then we go to work and help them grab some of their 10 most wanted fugitives. Be here to swing into action when America's Most Wanted starts in just 30 minutes. Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law.